there are telescopes searching the skies for signals, for hints, for a sign of civilizations, or even the signals from starships moving through the sky, you know, whatever it is that we're looking for that. The endlessness and vastness of space have always amazed and confused us humans. We have always wondered if we are alone in the universe and what mysterious wonders might exist beyond our planet. Recently, NASA scientists have made a surprising discovery in deep space. They found a huge source that is sending many radio messages to Earth, raising intriguing questions. Could these messages be attributed to a natural phenomenon, or is there another explanation waiting to be discovered? The signals are so big and well-arranged that scientists have lots of questions. Could there be smart beings in distant parts of our galaxy? If yes, what messages are they trying to send us? Keep watching to find out. Imagine staring up at the night sky, wondering about the secrets it holds. Well, that's precisely what has fascinated scientists and space enthusiasts about fast radio bursts. These bursts of radio signals appear suddenly and vanish in the blink of an eye. They're like cosmic fireworks, captivating our attention and leaving us with questions. But what causes these enigmatic bursts? To understand them better, scientists study something called dispersion. It's like looking at how ripples spread when you drop a stone in a pond. Similarly, radio waves spread out as they travel through space, encountering particles and obstacles along the way. By studying dispersion, scientists can trace the journey of these bursts and even estimate how far they've traveled. But what if these bursts are not just random cosmic events? What if they are cosmic footprints left by aliens? We're all hoping that there's some intelligent aliens trying to talk to us, sending us signals. It's like following footprints in the sand to uncover the hidden path of a mysterious traveler. Each burst tells a story of its journey through the vastness of space, and scientists are eager to decode their origins. The first sightings of fast radio bursts near the Little Magellanic Cloud were reminiscent of powerful pulses from radio pulsars. However, measuring and understanding them fully was a challenge due to technological limitations. Researchers suspect that countless bursts might have eluded detection, occurring with surprising frequency, perhaps hundreds of times each day. But how were these bursts discovered? Interest in fast radio bursts soared when a student named Sarah Burke Spola made a groundbreaking discovery. She found another burst with a dispersion pattern. It's nice characteristic fast rise and exponential tail in the light curves. And you can see the light curve at, at three different frequencies there. Similar to the one that started it all, known as the Lorimer burst. This opened up a new chapter in our exploration, prompting scientists to officially designate these bursts as fast radio bursts and uncover more intriguing examples. One particular fast radio burst source, known as 121102, stands out due to its distinct pattern of activity. It shows 90 days of intense bursts, followed by 67 days of silence. This mysterious burst, originating from a distant dwarf galaxy, has caught the attention of scientists. It has been consistently observed and studied with the 500-meter Aperture Spherical Radio Telescope, FAST, playing a crucial role in capturing an astonishing 59.5 hours of data within just 47 days. This remarkable surge in activity marks the highest level ever recorded. But what makes this burst so unique? Fast radio bursts travel across millions or even billions of light years, releasing an incredible amount of energy in just a few seconds. These bursts are so powerful that they surpass the combined output of hundreds of millions of suns. In a particular case, a fast radio burst named 190520 exhibited an unusually high frequency of repetition, with 75 bursts occurring within a six-month period. Using the Very Large Array radio telescope, scientists were able to trace the source of this mysterious signal. They uncovered a faint radio emission coming from the same region, which was a significant finding. 
However, determining the distances of fast radio bursts has remained a challenge, with only a small fraction being successfully measured. The revelation of this extraordinary burst raises perplexing questions about the reliability of the dispersion method and its ability to accurately determine the distances of fast radio bursts. Scientists around the world are on a mission to unravel the secrets of fast radio bursts, those mysterious bursts of radio energy. With a network of telescopes, they are making significant progress, discovering over 800 of these bursts and identifying their sources. However, there is still much that remains unknown about these bursts of radio energy. One such enigma is the dispersion method used to measure the distance of fast radio bursts. It's like playing a card game where you expect one card but end up with a different one, catching you off guard. The estimates sometimes don't align with the actual distances, challenging our understanding of these bursts. Now, you might be wondering, how does all of this affect us humans? Well, imagine a world where we can communicate with beings from other planets. Scientists are actively striving to establish communication with extraterrestrial civilizations through projects like NASA's Beacon in the Galaxy. But what if aliens intercepted our television broadcasts, gaining insight into our world, culture and knowledge? It would be like opening a time capsule, revealing who we are as a global society. To connect with extraterrestrial civilizations, the Beacon in the Galaxy message uses binary code, a universal language of zeros and ones. But will aliens understand these symbols as we do? It's hard to communicate with different species. People are debating whether it's a good idea to talk to aliens. Some think that advanced civilizations could share their knowledge with us and help prevent things like nuclear war. But others worry about how it might affect our own culture and society. Even though the chances are small that aliens will notice our messages, some still think we should try. I'm ready for ET to phone home or to phone us. I'm ready. We'll be there. But we need to be careful about what we say, why we say it, and who speaks for humanity. We know there will be mistakes, so it's important to have a global conversation with different viewpoints. Thinking about talking to aliens is exciting and makes us realize how big the universe is. It's a chance to learn more about ourselves and what else is out there. Fortunately, time and distance serve as safeguards, assuming that aliens are not already present. The exchange of messages with extraterrestrial beings would endure for thousands or even millions of years, alleviating concerns about the potential harm caused by excessive broadcasting or receiving communications from them. Such interactions would occur in the distant future, possibly involving future generations far removed from our present time. We can only hope that they will perceive themselves as fortunate and not regret their luck when that day eventually arrives. We've heard nothing. We, we've searched in more detail with better telescopes, more systematically, by no means exhaustively, by the way. I think we could do much more. But we've searched and we've heard nothing. So what do you think? Should we try to talk to aliens or not? Let us know down in the comments. Until next time.